What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam again. He has reclaimed his spot. And he wants us to get our Knife Gold Viper on Maur, which will give us Plague Diamond on our specials and our melee. So that's what we're doing today. And if you want to suggest a weapon for us to do in the next video, make sure you leave a comment of what weapon you want me to do and what map. I'll have a comment down there from myself of what weapons we already have completed, so that way we don't get any duplicates. But as I mentioned last video, I did get the knife leveled up. It's level 29. We barely have any XP to get it to 30. And I did most leveling in multiplayer so that way we have all the camos to get here because as you can see we need 750 kills with the knife to get the camos done for this and it's the same thing with the pack a punch camos i'm pretty sure yep so there already wasn't a lot to do so i had to go get it done in multiplayer and also the knife any melee weapon i really really enjoy using in this game i feel like this is the best iteration of melee weapons i've had a lot of fun doing them and i was actually kind of going hard with the knife in multiplayer here but i think we're having a lot more fun with it in zombies today we have literally everything to get done we only have 44 kills on it i think i got it as a drop and outbreak one time and that's how we got the 44 kills but besides that we have to do everything and for our attachments i have the juggernaut accessory here and the little chicken sticker let me check the challenges again i always forget what we have to do with melee weapons this time i'm gonna actually read through them and just get it into my head of what i need to do so 750 kills easy 50 kills with a knife while enemies are disoriented by a stun monkey bomb or decoy i feel like i always forget this one when you get decoys and stuns 750 kills will pack a punch easy enough 15 kills with a knife against enemies who are affected by frost blast ring of fire or aether shroud so we need 15 kills with aether shroud then we can switch to tesla storm if we need 10 special or elite eliminations on mauer that should be very easy 10 kills rapidly should also be easy and our jack rabbits might be a little difficult i'm pretty sure this is what usually takes me the longest to get done but we're going to need just a little bit of xp and we can get working on that one right away and one more thing that we need to do before we hop into game is i need to upgrade my melee to tier 5 so let's go ahead and do that and now every time we do melee damage we heal a little bit so that'll help us a lot so let's go ahead hop on mauer and get this done all right here we go flying on into mauer still the weirdest storyline here that we're teamed up with Kravenchko, but whatever <laughs> it's also funny how they run in with the knife but i couldn't be happier that we're playing on mauer today because this is the map that i got almost all of my melee weapons done on we got the cane done on here i think the mace maybe even the katana or the wakasashi was it called in this game so i have plenty of experience of using melee weapons on this map i know all the nice little strats so i think we should have a good time getting this done but i'm definitely not turning on the rampage inducer not with a melee weapon and maybe we'll try it later but hey there's our stroke camo we already got one done let's grab our loose change from tombstone and is this still a thing can i hit this it's not letting me jump on the couch but this painting here if you guys don't know uh there's like a side easter egg or something that's been found or at least the first step to it where if you like shoot that little bubbles come out of it maybe you can see it when i swing it doesn't look like it i think i need a gun or explosive but if you hit this painting or in this area oh we're level 30 we can start getting our jackrabbits done let's go but gee all right all right let me finish this thought if you hit this painting or you shoot it you hit it with an explosive bubbles like come out of it nobody knows what it means nobody knows if it's been there or if we're just now noticing it but actually maybe it has been discovered by now i just haven't got my finger on the pulse so if you know what that means let me know let's go ahead and head across let's grab this loose change from stamina up do we have enough to open this door we do let's go and grab the loose change from speed cola and what i do with the melee weapons is i come over here past speed cola climb on this little box and this is where i get a lot of my jackrabbits before i head on down so i guess i'll do this until i have enough to pack a punch because i think the knife's just gonna be a one shot for a while anyways i don't think it really starts to fall off but there's our first jackrabbit metal but while the zombies are still pretty slow we can kind of just run at them and get these and they dropped me a gersh so i'll take that where's this last zombie where you at pal hello zombie there you are go on you know what let's just go ahead and get power on and then we can go sit in that spot oh tempest spawned immediately i didn't have to go search for him Ooh, Ooh stop dodging me what get there you go stay still Jeez, that was three times in a row he just teleported away from me. That's the first time I've seen that happen. I've never had such an elusive tempest. But since we're over here, let's go ahead and grab our loose change from Jug. Take these zombies out. What we got? Double points? Okay. We take those. Come here. Get a little closer. Thank you. Repair the barrier for our extra 20 points. Come on. Where's my melee range? There it is. All right, let's take these guys out while we got double points going. Can't ask for any easier points. Early round, just using a knife. Don't have to worry about buying ammo. It's just, it's like we're extreme couponing with essence. Oh, we got hit. There goes our perfect game. All right, let's take the stairs down. Cross the track before the train comes. Ooh, and we get our loose change as a reward for surviving. We're zombies. I'll fight you on the tracks. I don't care. I'm a gamer. Oh, we have an aether shot. We should probably use that soon. Get our aether shot kills all the way. I'm pretty sure we just need 15. Open this up. Kind of crazy that I actually know what challenges we're doing as we're going in 
into it. Because every other melee video, I am completely just winging it. But on the lever, oh no. The, our charges, they're broken. Put another fuse in. We need to go get the other two. I'm gonna go back by the tracks. Please don't run me over. All right, we're chilling. And let's open this. Immediately Aether Shroud right into him so we can get him while he's spawning. That's a special elite kill. And we got an Aether Shroud kill. Perfect. Ooh, our Aether Shroud does not last very long. But it's okay. We still uh, moved on up. Also, with uh, that challenge, you can use two other field upgrades. You can use Frost Blast and you can use uh, Ring of Fire, which Frost Blast makes sense, but Ring of Fire makes zero sense. I know they were very limited on what field upgrades they had when the game came out and they needed challenges for the knife, but I feel like they should have updated it and added like Frenzy Guard in like Tempest Storm or what is it called? Tesla Storm, not Tempest Storm. They're both electric. It, it makes sense, but those are two field upgrades that work very well with this. And then Ring of Fire doesn't really make too much sense. Or at least I wasn't like Energy Mine. That'd be like impossible. Actually, we can kind of just stay down here in power room. I would go set up on that like HVAC box, but down here, the spawns are so much faster, but we need pack. We'll get pack and come back down. We also should probably get some perks too and like armor and you know other stuff. Also, I, I did see a lot of you guys freaking out on, uh, on the RPD video. I did forget to get gold. It was uh, a bit of a struggle that whole video. So uh, that was like not one of the top things on my mind, but it definitely would have helped with my damage. But I don't know how I'm going to get this disciple actually. I'm going to have to wait for him to come hover over this. And then with if he's life stealing at me, he might be life stealing too fast for me to like recover or too fast for me to kill him because the amount of damage i'm doing to him i'm also healing for myself and then he's healing back to me if that makes any sense because since we upgraded our melee up to tier 5 we do get a little bit of health back for each little bit of melee damage we do while he's also taking our health so we're basically just trading it back and forth we gotta take this guy out can we hit him from right there nope yeah come here yeah go up there that makes it easier for me idiot got two hits on him he's low Weak, weak, weak. One shot, one shot. Check this out. Hey Go on. Goodbye, all the rest. Okay, we have a cashmere, but there's stuns on the ground and we need those. So I'm just going to throw that over there. Pick this up. And we have enough to pack punch now, so let's do that. And this is what the knife looks like with pack punch camo here on Mauer. This is beautiful. It's got that, that slurp juice <laughs> camo on it. And the crimson, like, red handle on this looks so nice. Oh, it even matches the, the jug keychain. That's sick. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. We have a bunch of zombies here. Let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's stun them. Aether shroud and get the kills while they're stunned. That's a camo. Oh my, Lanta, look at us go. Two camos there. Ooh, another one. So we're only a few kills away from getting our Aether Shroud ones done, and then we can switch to Tesla Storm. I got to pay attention to when I see that it says 15, because we're at nine right now. And then after that, we can kind of just play. That's the best thing about using melee weapons and trying to get like camos on them, is that for most of the challenges, you need to have to think about doing, and you can kind of play your own way. Because with every other weapon, like any gun, going for crits, you really just got to focus on headshots the whole time. And that's all you're really doing. With melee weapon, after you get your like Aether Shroud kills done, and if you're like decent enough to like get those jackrabbits on your own, you can kind of play however you want. And you don't need to like only use one ammo mod, only go for headshots. Like you can just, just go until it's done. Also, this is a really good spot for going for it too. Especially if you just sit right here. The zombies just climb right up into your knife. My favorite thing to do is get Shatter Blast and just hit these guys while they're coming up. It's literally just free points and kills. Don't be a nuke. Okay, max ammo. Perfect. I was running low on ammo. I needed that. But what should we get with this? Probably quick revive. Because we're going to be taking a, a decent amount of damage doing this. So recovering it will be nice. At least being able to recover it fast enough. And then after that, we're going to need stamina up. And then death perception for sure. Actually, I think next we should get death perception instead of stamina up. Because we already move pretty fast with just the knife. And then if we get uh, death perception, we'll start to get more salvage. With that salvage, we can turn that into decoys and stuns. And then that'll help us get our challenges done easier. Which actually, we should probably leave this spot for now. Because with the zombies climbing up, yeah, it's easy kills. But they don't drop anything in their climbing animation and if they're not dropping anything we're not going to be able to get stuns salvage decoys any of that we just got two camos right there while we were talking not bad okay i'm gonna train up these zombies aether shroud them kill them and then we'll go back to electrical melee weapons are so much fun in this game okay aether shroud swing at them i hate the little delay after you use your field upgrade where you can't swing or melee okay we're done with 15 kills we're done we don't even need to use Aether Shroud anymore. So I'm switching to... Where's Tesla Storm? I'll just switch this one to Tesla Storm. There we go. And let's get these kills while we got double points going. And try not to get hit as well. That way we keep our Jackrabbits going. And I get hit while I'm saying it. Like a genius. We got 6k though. I'm getting Death Perception and then heading down. There's Death Perception. All right, let's make our way down. And then once we have like a decent amount of money, we'll come back up, get the rest of our perks, pack a punch, all that good stuff. But I'm so glad I have all these other melee weapons to do after this as well. Uh, we're probably gonna get armor before we upgrade our melee weapon. 
weapon. I think armor is probably more important for this. But we have everything. We have the hammer and sickle. There's like 1,800 melee weapons in this game. And I know a lot of people complain about that, but the melee was actually so good in this game. I mean, some of the melee weapons were awful, like pre-buff E-Tool. That was completely absurd to use, like at least in multiplayer and zombies, it was still pretty bad. But like a lot of them are pretty fun. They either add different movement options. Uh, they have like different abilities, like lunging or swing speed, things like that. Like they have different buffs to them. It makes using them a lot of fun. I think the knife is like the most in between of all of them. And I think it, it should be because that's like the default one that you get. Look at us go. 10 kills rapidly. This is where we get all of our medals. We're going in. They are hitting us a lot though. But once we get this uh, Tesla storm going, it should be easy. Can we craft anything? We can get a decoy. So let's do that. Now I wonder if I do get Shatter Blast, if that will count towards my distracted kills. Uh-oh. Forgot about Panzers. We still do a decent amount of damage to them. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it's not awful. I probably shouldn't stay in here. Or at least I shouldn't stay in one spot. I gotta keep running. We got Tomahawks to use on them. You don't want the smoke, Panzer. Trust me. No other Panzer I've gone against has lived. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe I won't live. You know what? I'm gonna try to stay in this room. I don't care how difficult it gets. I need to work on my training, so this is a good way to do it. Let's just hug this corner. And then we have a free entrance over here. And we found a decoy doing it. Okay. Let's just try to get our Tesla storm going. Even if these guys are actually beating the shit out of me. Oh, grudge camo. Camo's giving me strength. Okay, there's our Tesla storm. Let's go. Everybody get electrified. This is perfect. Let's get right up to the Panzer since we can stun him with it. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do, pal? Nothing. Look at that. Four special or elite. Insta kill as well. Ooh, insta kill probably wasn't a good move with the Tesla storm. But we kind of we kind of went in there. We just cleared out that whole round getting it. All right, let's grab another decoy. So now we have three decoys ready to go. Once the zombies spawn in, I'm just going to train around and then decoy them and take them out. I think that's a good strat. But first, take out this guy with the insta kill. Let's go. 125 enemies while it's pack a punch. Easy stuff. And I'm going to make my prediction. I know it's a little late, but I think we're going to be out of here by round... Before round 30, I'm going to say round 28. I feel like that's the best uh, time I've got or the best round that I've gotten every camo for a melee weapon before. So I'm going to try to do it again. Okay, so I can just run in a circle and all the zombies will just form up for me. Oh shit. Decoy, go! Don't knock me, please. Don't knock me until you try it. I'm going to throw another decoy down. Get him. Sick him. And another. There we go. Wasteland camo. We need 50 of the distracted kills. We're at 10. And we just got a few there. And we have a stun so we can just keep it going. But I should really get mule kick because this will help a lot with this challenge. Oh, amphibian camo. Yeah, so we just got 20 right there. If I just stay like up to date on those, up to date, I don't think that's the right phrasing. But if I just like stay conscious of those and knocking them out, we will be done with those so fast. And then it's just the 750 kills we need to get. We have 15k, so we might as well go get Mule Kick right now. Mule Kick has so many other purposes than just having three weapons. Like that's the least thing I buy Mule Kick for. I do not need three weapons. I do not care that much. I'm never using all three. But the ammo drops, the ammo drops and like the actual like nade usage is so useful. Leveling up mule kick, mule kick is nice. Let's just get speed cola because that'll help us get Tesla Storm faster. All right, we finished off the round. I have stamina up so I can jump off. I'm pretty sure that stops the jackrabbit though, but it's whatever. I don't care. Let's head back to electrical room and we can just keep like getting these disoriented kills done. <laughs> Never mind. We're out of salvage, but we can go for our rapid kills. So I'm going to just train again. I'm going to train Tesla Storm, kill as many as I can. Training is so much fun, actually. Like, once you start to learn it. Like, if I was watching myself play right now, back when I first started playing zombies, I'd be like, how the fuck am I doing that? But it's literally, it's not that hard. You, you just kind of kite them. You just do, like, little stutter steps until they're, like, closer together. Now that we got them like that, easily Tesla Storm. Goodbye, zombies. It was nice knowing you. Look at this. We literally just cleared them all out. I mean, that, that insta-kill might have had something to do with it, but we, we made a pretty huge chunk there. We took out a huge chunk even before the insta -kill came into play. But what I wish they would do for camos, like now that we're thinking about how fun melee weapons are because of the challenges, they should do that for all weapons. Like if I were to choose the camo challenges for this game, I don't think I'd have crits as a challenge, but it'd be like get kills with ammo mods, get kills while using like this field upgrade, that field upgrade, like get it so like you can have fun playing with the weapon while not like stressing too hard over like some stupid challenge. And you'll be able to get it done a lot faster. It might not feel as rewarding, but after like getting Dark Aether on every weapon on my main account and having to get like 8 million crits, that shit gets tiring. I mean, I still love doing it, but I think some variation in the challenges would have been more, a little more fun. It's just so dangerous. We have a huge horde right here. We don't have a stun or anything. So I'm just slowly trying to 
see if they'll drop something for me. Oh my God, they're hitting hard now. Okay, let's go over here. Loop our way back. Get them in a single file line or at least as close to one as we can get. The knife is still tearing. It's just, it's red tier with pack one and it's still going in. I don't even know if we're going to tear this thing up. Because we're going to be using all of our salvage towards like stuns, decoys, and all that good stuff. Let's bring all the guys over here and we have time to hit up the crafting table and see if we can buy something useful. We can. Okay. Oh, and we got two. Shout out Mule Kick. Let's get him trained up again. Throw the decoy down. Get the kills. Please give us at least 10. There we go. Oh, and a max ammo. How generous of them. Running so low on ammo. But there's not enough zombies here for me to want to use a decoy. And since we're like trying to... And since we're like rationing our salvage, it's probably not worth the use on like five zombies. I want to use it on a big group. There we go. Go on in, zombies. Oh, I say that and I put up a barrier. I can't help it. A button pops up. I'm like, yeah, let's hit it. Okay, we have our Tesla Storm again. We have Tesla Storm, a decoy, and uh, Disciple spawned. We still need a few elite kills, so good of him for spawning. I'm going to Tesla Storm right now just so I can take him out. Idiot. Might as well throw our decoy. we we'll get a few of those as well, and we can get our kills rapidly. Oh, double points. Double points is really good for a Tesla Storm because all those little 10 points we're getting for each zombie we're stunning. Turns into 20 and that adds up and we got two stuns out of that we're going in right now 23k uh i should probably go pack a punch again let's go do that but let's also get this green just a one tier upgrade to, to appease you guys oh shit Do these guys count as a uh, special or elites let's find out they should i'll just fight all these guys before i get this pack a punch and it could help for jackrabbit so i just don't let them hit me i hit them i run away easy hit them miss get hit ruin the jackrabbit and we can start it all over again all right let's go let's pack a punch this so here is pack a punch two on the combat knife still looking nice you can kind of see the pattern here a little better of like the slurp juice looking thing uh it cycles through a lot faster it seems like and then the handle also looks very good we have 8k left over after pack a punching there's another what is that called a panzer why do i forget names of things i've played this game so much but well, let's get another perk let's get phd i feel like sliding is gonna help us a lot and then hop back down let's go back to power room or should we keep the fight out here with this panzer let's see what one hit of this does to him i completely missed the first time so we gotta loop back around i want to see what one hit does all right here we go that's a pretty decent chunk. That's like 15% uh, of his health, maybe 20. But also, I suck at mental math. Okay, these zombies are kind of beating my ass right now. They're getting strong. They're drinking their milk. Okay, let's do this. Let's stun them while we have double points because that's free points for me. Then we can take out the Panzer or at least attempt to. We got some decent damage on them. Oh, my Lanta. Let's stun again. There we go. That should be a camo. Show me it. There it is. Threshold 40. So we need 10 more while they're disoriented. And now we have 250 kills while it's packed. So we're getting basically everything we need done. If we get 10 more while they're disoriented then we can just play we just have fun not like that hasn't been fun but it's just more mindless fun mindless is always good this panzer does so much i just need him to leave me alone okay, we have a tesla storm i'm using it just so we can get rid of this panzer no tesla storm killed it damn there's one less elite and we just cleared out that whole round though okay let's head back down to our spot let's buy some decoys we're all set i should probably start buying stuns if i want to get these elites because decoys only work on normal zombies stuns work on everything but decoys are just so like neat and tidy like every zombie will run to it but with like a stun if one's just a little out of the range like he'll mess up the whole thing let's just work on it right now go to it let's finish off this camo one more there we go that's it our banished camo oh another decoy spawn though okay we picked it up get on it what the fuck are you doing go to the decoy jeez oh we got the disciple in one hit easy that's six special elites how many do we need eight like ten how many i have no idea Ooh, the tomahawk though i love how when you're using melee weapons tomahawks are like more likely to spawn off zombie drops the cool little feature oops and i hit the nuke Oh, well. All right. Well, I guess we'll go see if we can upgrade this. We should probably upgrade our armor first, actually. But we can't do that. We can't do anything. Okay. Fuck me, I guess. We still do need our juggernauts, though. Our juggernauts. We still need our jackrabbits. Jeez, where's my brain? We're very close on a Tesla storm. There we go. Get them while they're down. Oh, we got to use it. Got to use it. I was going to save it, but we ended up cornering ourselves immediately. Good thing we had it. Man, this thing does damage. Oh, and a max ammo. Let's go. Okay, there's 10 kills rapidly. Eight times. We're getting there. Honestly, I might go up to Wonder Fizz now. I feel like now's the time. Yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to grab Elemental on the way. Any armor upgrades we can do? Nope. Okay. I ever grab this loose change? I did not. What's wrong? with me all right we're back now honestly i want to put a ammo mod on this let's go do that i'm gonna put shatter blast on it there's shatter blast they got the rest of these zombies and we're good round 19 so we'd be out of here by round what 28 or 520 kills we need 750 uh how many kills did it take us to pack a punch probably like 100 something so at around 800 something kills we should be able to get out of here oh come here disciple you just spawned in the wrong dude watch this assassin's creed oh 
No, I PhD the zombies. I thought I could stab them. Uh-oh. I say, uh-oh, but I actually have a plan. The best thing to do here is train up all the zombies, go up the rope. You'll kill the few that comes over here. Oh, I accidentally used the shatter blast. See, my reason for training them all up is I know they'll they'll obviously already just climb up on their own. But if you just train them all up, then you can uh, slow the... Oh, holy... I need to use my brain for a second. Hold on. But if you train them all up, you can kill the time for uh, your ammo mod to recharge. And then you'll get all those kills. Shatter blast will kill literally every single zombie on the wall if they're all climbing up at the same time. So this is a strat I used to get a lot of my jackrabbits, especially when the it gets into later rounds and I forget that I had to do them in the first place. But we should be good now. It's been enough time. I haven't killed a single zombie. As long as one doesn't spawn up here, we should be good. Gotta wait for them to climb up, make sure they're mostly on the wall. And there we go. Look at this. Look at that. We killed almost every zombie on the wall. Take out the disciple. 500 kills with it. Let's use our Tesla Storm. Entropathy camo. So we're making our way on our jackrabbits as much as we can. This is so OP for melee weapons. Like if you had a teammate or even like toxic growth behind you, we'd be so chilling. I, I used toxic growth last video. I want to use Tesla Storm a bit. Eight special or elites. Blue tiger. I can't remember if that's the last one or for its gold tiger. Getting very close to be able to pack a bunch of three though. Like honestly, we are not far from getting this done and we're only 20 rounds in. Oh, okay. Here's more specials, I think. I, I couldn't determine if these count or not for specials. I really just gotta not miss my knife on them. If I do, it's bad news bears. They get to blow up. I get to miss the kill and I probably lose whatever jackrabbit I'm on. There we go. As long as I stand right here, they can't spawn behind me. Where you at? There they are. Hey another one. Shall we bring in another? That's what I thought. No, I missed. Oh, I had to get cocky. We're not missing that one though. We'll end strong in the free max ammo. Thank you. No! <laughs> I did not mean to PhD slide that far. That kind of scared me. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're starting down here. Start down here. Get that easy shatter blast for the jackrabbit metal. And then we are big chilling. Because the only thing standing between us and getting out of here before round 30 is those jackrabbits. Let's just make sure we have a big enough train to do this. We're getting there. I just want to get every zombie that I see in this little pile here. Why are you climbing the tank? You could have easily walked around. Now you're wasting everyone's time up there, zombie. All right, we have enough. Let's go up. I haven't hit a single zombie this round. So our first hit will be shatter blast. Now check this out. Come on up, fellas and lady fellas and one swing oh, oh we killed just about all of them that was clean and that's 10 kills rapidly okay this panzer's hitting hard hit the zip line oh five health five fucking health now if only those guys actually dropped salvage for me i probably would be able to upgrade my armor we can chill here we're good oh are you up here tesla storm kill it don't let tesla storm kill it again oh my god i think it might have i hope it didn't Oh, Shatter Blast going off again. We don't need that insta-kill. That insta-kill will actually do more harm than good. There's contamination camo. We're getting close on our jackrabbits, but we have 30k. So let's go ahead and pack a punch. This is what pack punch three looks like on the knife. It's got that nice gold handle. The purple blade. Ooh, clean. Put that blue in there. Hold on. I want to wait till I see a little bit of blue. There it is. That's nice. Let's give it one more second. I don't think I caught the blue in an inspect very well. It goes away so fast. There's like such a short time period. There's a little bit of it floating across. Okay, let's kill him. And now we need to upgrade our armor. Okay, tier two, tier three, we're good. I don't even care about upgrading the actual tier to this. Also, the pack a punch name is Closing Argument. Why are such a nice looking map? All these neon signs, like they did a night map well where there's still like good visibility. At least when power's on, there's good visibility. When power's off, there isn't really, but it also has a nice vibe to it. Like you can actually, you know, get immersed in it and you have a flashlight option. So it's not too bad. Oh, what? You, what do you think you are up here, disciple? Sleep is what you are. This rising tiger. So we gotta be pretty close to being done with our special and elite or boss zombie, whatever the hell they're called. I could kill all these guys just on ground floor here, but if I swing and get hit during like the middle of it, then I get no jackrabbit done. But right here is a guaranteed one. Right about here. Shaleep. And that kills rapidly. And we can just keep going. Unless they start hitting me. Stop hitting me. Hit the rope. We probably didn't need to, but it's just habit at this point. If the zombies are right up in my face like that, it's probably smarter to hit the rope. Disciple sleep. We'll head right back up. You guys want to climb up here? You guys know what happens if you climb up here. Uh-oh. Maybe they don't know what happens because I'm not there. Oh, Shatter Blast. Come on. Today's the day. There it is. It, it got two zombies. Are you kidding me? Okay, there's Drench. 500 kills plus Pack-a-Punch. 250 kills from now, we're out of here. As long as we can keep up with our Jackrabbits. I think we can. Oh, did we Brain Rot the Disciple? That's not what I want to do. Unless it still counts for the kill. Does it? This guy looks kind of cool, though. Hey, Disciple Pal. Disciples have a really cool design. Bye. And we're back to doing the run around. Uh oh. Get around. I get around. Get around. Ooh, I get around. You know what? Tesla Storm and then Shatter Blast. What about that one, guys? You like that one? 
Oh, and the double points. Oh, that was nice. Tesla Storm is going to help us for jackrabbits as well. You got to remember that. Butcher. That means we're close to a jackrabbit. And that means I'm going to train a little bit. I don't really care about double points. We got nothing else to buy. So I'll just let it run out. But I'm going to train up a bit. And then we're going to climb back up. Make sure we get that guaranteed jackrabbit. And we got hit. So we lost whatever one we were on. Kind of cringe. I'm coming up. Come on, zombies. I won't bite. Just might explode you. Except for unless a tormentor comes up behind me. I should have just let it blow up because that's what I was going to do anyways. Okay, jump it down. Dickhead tormentor. Why are you spawning up there? Now I got to run in circles till it's recharged again. But Joe, the recharge time is like 15 seconds. Whatever. I always forget. I don't, I don't know what the recharge time is off the top of my head. So I'm not a nerd. No, it probably would be useful though. I think now's about good. Let's go up. Please, no one spawn up here. All right. Come on up and shatter blast. Let's go. Easy jackrabbit. Glitch camo, let's go. So I think we just need two more. Two more jackrabbits or two more camos. I don't I, No, I think it's two more jackrabbits. We should be good. And we aren't really spending our salvage on anything. Can we upgrade? Nope, we're still broke. We can refill it though, which is pretty cool. Let's go get this disciple before he gets mad with power. Sleep. Another thing. Okay, so if they're not going to add like a quality of life thing, I mean, it's probably way past the time for them to do it. But if they're not going to add a quality life thing where you can check your camo progress in game, I think there should be a pop-up when you complete a category so you know that you're done doing that challenge. So I can't remember how many elites we need to get. I'm pretty sure we're done with them, but I would like the peace of mind of like having it confirmed for me. Be like, oh, challenge completed. Get all critical kills with this weapon. Like things like that would make it a lot easier. One zombies. Oh my God, please don't spawn here. All right, let's get them here. Easy. I don't think we got a jackrabbit there though unfortunate disciple can go to sleep though you know what we have a tesla storm we don't even need to go for shatter blast here group them all up and tesla oh rotten camo we're all done with our normal kills and everything just went off at once there shatter blast tesla storm it, it, we just went in disciples gone yeah i'm pretty sure we're done with all of our elite kills okay only a few zombies left i just try to get a guaranteed jackrabbit by going up here come on come on little buddies Ooh, get shatter blasted on oh there's one more guy come on i don't got all day Here's some candy. Take a little bit of it. Not too much, eh? You'll spoil your dinner. What do we not have? Does Deadshot even help? Let's get it. We got money to burn. And back to the very entertaining part of running in a circle. I have a feeling we're gonna get a Panzer this round. We haven't gotten one in a little bit. We have a combination of Panzers and Disciples. Actually, this is Mangler spawn round too, isn't it? Round 25? Unless I'm wrong. I hear him. Oh yeah, there he is. What's up, dude? Shalit. All right, let's head up. Hopefully that was enough time in between kills for us to be able to get our Shatter Blast back. Oh, Disciple, do you want to be the first to go? Hold on. You can drain my health for a second. I don't care. We'll get these guys and then we'll get you. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have killed him. Because I don't think we're going to get the Jackrabbit for that. He was taking our health the whole time. I'm an idiot. I was just trying not to get rid of that Shatter Blast. Ooh, we unlocked the Sledgehammer. Ooh! I think we got the Assassin's Creed kill on that Disciple, too. Actually nasty. And we just got to get the last bit of these zombies all trained up. Oops, accidentally PhD'd them. PhDs. And we'll head up now. Zombies, come on. There we go. Easy Jackrabbit. Round 26. I'm only two rounds away. Conviction camo, is that it? Are we done? Milestone reached. Gold Viper. What are we missing? I thought Conviction was the last one. I said I was going to look at them. That way, I wasn't confused on what did I need to get. But guess what? I'm Googling them. Cold War, Zombies, Melee, Weapon, Camos. Okay, 750 kills. We need... Oh, are we not done with our pack a punch kills? I might be an idiot. We definitely have Banished. We've gotten Rotten. We've gotten... We don't have Chemical. We have Manic. We have Rising Tiger. We have Sunder. And we just got Conviction. So yeah, we just need our pack a punch camos. I don't know why I'm tripping so hard. We literally just need kills. It does not matter how we get them. And we got to be very close. We actually get out of here this round, maybe. We play our cards right. So yeah, I am actually going to go ahead and train around. The more kills we get in one swing, the better. Oh, Panzer, you want to come join the fun? I heard you spawn, pal. Let's try to get our field upgrade by tomahawking. Almost. We have one more tomahawk and it should do it. Ooh. I don't think it killed one. It just kind of bounced off of them. But we can pick them back up. That's the good thing about the tomahawk. All right, there we go. Tesla Storm. Let's get these kills. Shatter Blast going off. Pans are going down. It go down. It don't. There it is! Diamond, baby! We got it! Him and go exfil. It's still open. We can get out of here. There's gold viper. So we got diamond on our specials and our knife now. Let's go. Chemical camo. So weird seeing the pack punch camo come up last. All right. Normally, we don't open that door, but we have to. Let's grab this. And let's try to craft a gersh. Oh, we don't have enough. Monkey bomb, though. We can get that. We got two minutes to get out of here. I think we can do it. And we have 48,000. We should be able to open the door over here to take the rope up to Exfil. Look, there's a disciple already waiting there. And I still never open this. I never go back to the side of the map if I'm grinding camos. And we can head right up through this rope. Check me out. Check me out. Easy monkey bomb. Oh, 67 enemies to kill, too. That's nothing. That's chump change. We have the monkey bomb under the ground that's how well we're doing disciple sleep 
Let's just take out these guys. Eat the knife. Take it. Oh, still 42 of you left. Maybe we do need a monkey bomb. And toss it down. Go ahead, go to it. We have one more. So I'll put that down for those of you that don't want to... Oh, look. He has his very own personal one. His personal pan pizza. I'll kill him. He doesn't even get to enjoy it. We have eight zombies left. We can do this on our own. With a little help from Tesla Storm, I mean. Last one. We're out of here. Go ahead and land, Kavenchko. Let me in by my chinny chin chin. All right, let's check our final stats. 1,056 kills, 300 crits, no downs, no revives. Flawless game. And we did it in under 30 rounds. We did it at round 26. 26 rounds to get a gold weapon in this game. That's insane. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the camos on the knife. I'll remove the sticker just for you guys. Goodbye. Little chicken. Sweet dreams. How do I remove it? I don't know how. I think we have to go to the chicken and take it off. Okay, goodbye, chicken. See you next time. All right, enough playing around. Here's what Gold Viper looks like on the knife. That's actually not bad. I wish the handle changed. That looks like a default handle. I guess it is a different color, but I mean, you wouldn't really be able to tell. I guess it's in your hand. You don't get to see the handle as much, but as we saw with the pack a bunch camos there on Mauer, that the, the handle actually did make a difference and it did look very nice. So that's my one gripe about Gold Viper here on this. But Plague Diamond remedies that. Uh, instead of having the diamond on the blade, it's uh, all on the handle there. I guess uh, having a studded blade probably would uh, not... It, it would be counterintuitive for a blade. So I guess it makes sense. But if visually, I think it would probably look better vice versa. I don't know. Maybe not. And this is what Dark Aether looks like on it. And that's beautiful. It covers the whole thing. This is where I don't mind the handle. Because Dark Aether just demands so much attention. But we are four out of nine classes done here. We're, we're getting there. We're moving up. But let's go ahead and see what these look like in game with Gold Viper and Plague Diamond. All right, this is what the combat knife looks like in game with Gold Viper. Not bad. When you get the sun on it, when you hold it like this to the right, that's beautiful. That looks real nice. But like I said, the blade could look better. Definitely looks better in game. It's supposed to have like that gray on it, but it doesn't here. Oh yeah, this is Gold Viper on the knife. Let's go see what Plague Diamond looks like on it. What does this thing do? Oh, all right, this is Plague Diamond. This also looks very, very good in game. The handle definitely sticks out way more. I really... I, I'm trying to I've been trying to teach myself to not judge what a weapon looks like just based on its gunsmith because in game it's 100% different and you can really tell here you can actually see a lot of the diamonds on the blade or on the handle the blade also looks pretty good it, it does make a lot more sense to do it like this but there you go we got this knife all the way up to gold viper from basically nothing, only like 40 kills in under 26 rounds or at 26 rounds. I think that's probably the fastest we've ever gotten a weapon gold viper in this game. I think my previous record was 28. So that's pretty good for me. And we knocked out a whole nother Plague Diamond class because melees and specials are combined here. We got that all done. Another Plague Diamond down one step closer to Dark Aether. But I think that's where I'm gonna have to end today's video. If you guys like this and you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.